Hacking costs companies and consumers trillions of dollars every year. According to CPO magazine, by 2021, hacking attacks will cost a total of $6 trillion, up from $2 trillion in losses reported in 2019. Much of the cybercrime problem stems from the same features of the internet from which we all benefit. Even the most amateur hacker can easily find all the tools they need online at virtually no cost. The hacker onslaught didn't occur overnight. It took decades of work by now famous hackers to discover critical vulnerabilities and reveal the strategies that established the foundations of the internet and its free-for-all libertarianism. In this video, we are talking about the top 10 most notorious hackers of all time. Kevin Mitnick. A seminal figure in American hacking, Kevin Mitnick got his start as a teen. In 1981, he was charged with stealing computer manuals from Pacific Bell. In 1982, he hacked the North American Defense Command, NORAD, an achievement that inspired the 1983 film War Games. In 1989, he hacked Digital Equipment Corporation's DEC network and made copies of their software. Because DEC was a leading computer manufacturer at the time, this act put Mitnick on the map. He was later arrested, convicted, and sent to prison. During his conditional release, he hacked Pacific Bell's voicemail systems. Throughout his hacking career, Mitnick never exploited the access and data he obtained. It's widely believed that he once obtained full control of Pacific Bell's network simply to prove it could be done. A warrant was issued for his arrest for the Pacific Bell incident, but Mitnick fled and lived in hiding for more than two years. When caught, he served time in prison for multiple counts of wire fraud and computer fraud. Although Mitnick ultimately went white hat, he may be part of the bull hat's gray area. According to Wired, in 2014, he launched Mitnick's Absolute Zero Day Exploit Exchange, which sells unpatched, critical software exploits to the highest bidder. 2. Anonymous. Anonymous got its start in 2003 on 4chan message boards in an unnamed forum. The group exhibits little organization and is loosely focused on the concept of social justice. For example, in 2008 the group took issue with the Church of Scientology and began disabling their websites, thus negatively impacting their search rankings in Google and overwhelming its fax machines with all black images. In March 2008, a group of Anons marched past Scientology centers around the world wearing the now famous Guy Fox mask. As noted by The New Yorker, while the FBI and other law enforcement agencies have tracked down some of the group's more prolific members, the lack of any real hierarchy makes it almost impossible to identify or eliminate Anonymous as a whole. 3. Adrian Lamo. In 2001, 20-year-old Adrian Lamo used an unprotected content management tool at Yahoo to modify a Reuters article and add a fake quote attributed to former Attorney General John Ashcroft. Lamo often hacked systems and then notified both the press and his victims. In some cases, he'd help clean up the mess to improve their security. As Wired points out, however, Lamo took things too far in 2002 when he hacked the New York Times intranet, added himself to the list of expert sources, and began conducting research on high-profile public figures. Lamo earned the moniker the homeless hacker because he preferred to wander the streets with little more than a backpack and often had no fixed address. 4. Albert Gonzalez. According to the New York Daily News, Gonzalez, dubbed Sipnazi, got his start as the troubled pack leader of computer nerds at his Miami high school. He eventually became active on criminal commerce site Shadokru.com and was considered one of its best hackers and moderators. At 22, Gonzalez was arrested in New York for debit card fraud related to stealing data from millions of card accounts. To avoid jail time, he became an informant for the Secret Service, ultimately helping indict dozens of Shadow Crew members. During his time as a paid informant, Gonzalez continued his criminal activities. Along with a group of accomplices, Gonzalez stole more than 180 million payment card accounts from companies including Office Max, Dave, and Busters, and Boston Market. The New York Times Magazine notes that Gonzalez's 2005 attack on U.S. retailer TJX was the first serial data breach of credit information. Using a basic SQL injection, this famous hacker and his team created backdoors in several corporate networks, stealing an estimated $256 million from TJX alone. 
During his sentencing in 2015, the federal prosecutor called Gonzalez's human victimization unparalleled. 5. Matthew Beaven and Richard Price. Matthew Beaven and Richard Price are a team of British hackers who hacked into multiple military networks in 1996, including Griffiths Air Force Base, the Defense Information System Agency, and the Korean Atomic Research Institute, Curry. Beaven, Kuji, and Price, data stream cowboy, have been accused of nearly starting a third world war after they dumped Curry research onto American military systems. Beaven claims he was looking to prove a UFO conspiracy theory, and according to the BBC, his case bears resemblance to that of Gary McKinnon. Malicious intent or not, Beaven and Price demonstrated that even military networks are vulnerable. 6. Jeanson James Anchetta. Jeanson James Anchetta had no interest in hacking systems for credit card data or crashing networks to deliver social justice. Instead, Anchetta was curious about the use of bots, software-based robots that can infect and ultimately control computer systems. Using a series of large-scale botnets, he was able to compromise more than 400,000 computers in 2005. According to Ars Technica, he then rented these machines out to advertising companies and was also paid to directly install bots or adware on specific systems. Anchetta was sentenced to 57 months in prison. This was the first time a hacker was sent to jail for the use of botnet technology. 7. Michael Kals. In February 2000, 15-year-old Michael Kals, also known as Mafia Boy, discovered how to take over networks of university computers. He used their combined resources to disrupt the number one search engine at the time, Yahoo. Within one week, he'd also brought down Dell, eBay, CNN, and Amazon using a distributed denial-of-service DOS attack that overwhelmed corporate servers and caused their websites to crash. Kals's wake-up call was perhaps the most jarring for cybercrime investors and internet proponents. If the biggest websites in the world, valued at over $1 billion, could be so easily sidelined, was any online data truly safe? It's not an exaggeration to say that the development of cybercrime legislation suddenly became a top government priority thanks to Kals's hack. 8. Kevin Polson. In 1983, a 17-year-old Polson, using the alias Dark Dante, hacked into ARPANET, the Pentagon's computer network. Although he was quickly caught, the government decided not to prosecute Polson, who was a minor at the time. Instead, he was let off with a warning. Polson didn't heed this warning and continued hacking. In 1988, Polson hacked a federal computer and dug into files pertaining to the deposed president of the Philippines, Ferdinand Marcos. When discovered by authorities, Polson went underground. While he was on the run, Polson kept busy hacking government files and revealing secrets. According to his own website, in 1990, he hacked a radio station contest and ensured that he was the 102nd caller, winning a brand new Porsche, a vacation, and $20,000. Polson was soon arrested and barred from using a computer for three years. He has since converted to white hat hacking and journalism, writing about cybersecurity and web-related socio-political causes for Wired, The Daily Beast, and his own blog Threat Level. Paulson also teamed with other leading hackers to work on various projects dedicated to social justice and freedom of information. Perhaps most notably, working with Adam Swartz and Jim Dolan to develop the open source software SecureDrop, initially known as DeadDrop. Eventually, Paulson turned over the platform, which enabled secure communication between journalists and sources, to the Freedom of Press Foundation. 9. Jonathan James. Using the alias Comrade, Jonathan James hacked several companies. According to the New York Times, what really earned James' attention was his hack into the computers of the United States Department of Defense. Even more impressive was the fact that James was only 15 at the time. In an interview with PC Mag, James admitted that he was partly inspired by the book The Cuckoo's Egg, which details the hunt for a computer hacker in the 1980s. His hacking allowed him to access over 3,000 messages from government employees, usernames, passwords, and other sensitive data. James was arrested in 2000 and was sentenced to a six-months house arrest and banned from recreational computer use. However, a probation violation caused him to serve six months in jail. Jonathan James became the youngest person to be convicted of violating cybercrime laws. In 2007, TJX, a department store, was hacked and many customers' private information was compromised. 
Despite a lack of evidence, authorities suspect that James may have been involved. In 2008, James committed suicide by gunshot. According to the Daily Mail, his suicide note stated, I have no faith in the justice system. Perhaps my actions today and this letter will send a stronger message to the public. Either way, I have lost control over this situation and this is my only way to regain control. 10. Astra. This hacker differs from the others on this list in that he has never been publicly identified. However, according to the Daily Mail, some information has been released about Astra. Namely that he was apprehended by authorities in 2008 and at that time he was identified as a 58-year-old Greek mathematician. Reportedly, he had been hacking into the Dassault group for almost half a decade. During that time, he stole cutting-edge weapons technology software and data which he then sold to 250 individuals around the world. His hacking cost the Dassault Group $360 million in damages. No one knows why his complete identity has never been revealed, but the word Astra is a Sanskrit word for weapon. What do you think from the video? If you have any questions or doubt please comment down below. If you haven't done so hit the like button, subscribe, and share our content. Make sure to keep watching our channel to know when this will be happening. Like, share, subscribe.